Do parallel universes exist? Are we living in just one of an infinite number of possible realities? These questions, once relegated to the pages of science fiction novels and the scripts of blockbuster films, are now being seriously contemplated by some of the brightest minds in the scientific community. The idea of parallel universes, or alternate realities where different versions of ourselves might be living out vastly different lives, has long captured the collective imagination. We've seen it in Star Trek, Spider-Man, and Doctor Who, just to name a few. But what if it's not just fodder for thrilling narratives? What if it's actually a scientific possibility? Enter the multiverse theory. This is the idea that our universe, with its hundreds of billions, if not trillions of galaxies, each containing billions or trillions of stars, might not be the only one. Instead, it could be just one in an infinite series of universes, each with its own laws of physics, its own history, its own reality. Now it's important to mention that this is still a theory. It's one of the most controversial theories in science today, in fact. There's a lot we still don't understand about our own universe, let alone the possibility of others. But the very fact that we're considering it, that we're asking these questions and pushing the boundaries of our understanding, is a testament to our innate curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before we delve deeper into the concept of the multiverse and its implications, let's first take a step back. Our universe is unimaginably big. Hundreds of billions, if not trillions of galaxies spin through space, each containing billions or trillions of stars. Some researchers studying models of the universe speculate that the universe's diameter could be 7 billion light years across. Others think it could be infinite. So we find ourselves confronted with the enigma of existence. Our universe is unimaginably big, but is it all that's out there? Imagine a time around 13.7 billion years ago. Everything that we can perceive, the entire universe as we know it, was contained within an infinitesimal singularity. In this state of being, everything was compressed to a point of infinite density. It was a time before time, a place before space. Then something extraordinary happened. This singularity exploded into action, expanding faster than the speed of light in all directions. This incredibly swift and dramatic expansion is what we refer to as cosmic inflation. Picture it like an unfathomably rapid ballooning, where in less than a blink of an eye, the universe shot out to an astronomical size, about 10 to the power of 26 times its original size. Yet, this was just the start. What followed was the actual expansion of matter, the sequitur to the cosmic inflation. As the furious pace of inflation began to slow down, a flood of matter and radiation emerged. This created the iconic Big Bang fireball that we often visualize when we think of the birth of the universe. From this fiery chaos, the very building blocks of our reality started to form. Atoms and molecules coalesced, eventually giving birth to stars, galaxies, and the vast cosmic tapestry that surrounds us. This mind-boggling process of cosmic inflation and the subsequent Big Bang have led some researchers to a thought-provoking hypothesis. They propose that our universe might not be the only one. Could there be multiple universes, born from similar processes, existing beyond our perception? This is a question that continues to intrigue and challenge our understanding of existence. However, these are not mere flights of fancy. Theoretical physicists and cosmologists are seriously contemplating this possibility. They are exploring the idea that the Big Bang and cosmic inflation might have given birth to not just our universe, but a multitude of others. And that's all before the actual expansion of matter, which was a consequence of all this inflation. The mysterious process of inflation and the Big Bang have convinced some researchers that multiple universes are possible, or even very likely. This brings us to the theory of eternal inflation, as proposed by theoretical physicist Alexander Vilenkin of Tufts University in Massachusetts. Imagine the universe as a pot of boiling water. As the water boils, bubbles form. Similarly, as our universe inflated following the Big Bang, bubbles of space-time formed. These bubbles are what we refer to as universes, and the pot in this comparison represents the meta-universe, or multiverse. Vilenkin proposed that inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for everything that we can detect from Earth around 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation, in fact, continues in other places. This is the crux of the theory of eternal inflation. 
As inflation ends in a particular place, a new bubble universe forms. These bubble universes are continuously popping into existence, like an endless cosmic fizz. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? But there's more to it. The bubble universes, according to the theory, can't contact each other because they continue to expand indefinitely. If we were to set off for the edge of our bubble, where it might butt up against the next bubble universe over, we'd never reach it. The edge is zipping away from us faster than the speed of light and faster than we could ever travel. What's even more intriguing is that if we could reach the next bubble, according to eternal inflation combined with string theory, our familiar universe with its physical constants and habitable conditions could be vastly different from the hypothetical bubble universe next to our own. The theory of eternal inflation presents a mind-boggling picture of the multiverse, filled with an infinite number of bubble universes, each with its own physical constants and conditions. It's a testament to the boundless nature of scientific inquiry and the endless mysteries of our cosmos. Those bubble universes can't contact each other because they continue to expand indefinitely. So while we continue to explore our own bubble, we can only speculate about the intriguing possibilities that lie beyond its bounds. But even if we could reach the next bubble, according to eternal inflation combined with string theory, our familiar universe with its physical constants and habitable conditions could be totally different from the hypothetical bubble universe next to our own. This is where the idea of the multiverse begins to interact intriguingly with the constants of nature. You see, our universe seems to be finely tuned for life. It's like Goldilocks porridge. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. The constants of nature, such as the strength of gravity or the speed of light, are at the exact values that allow for stars, planets, and life as we know it to exist. But why is this so? Why are these constants just right? This is a question that has baffled scientists for decades. It's known as the fine-tuning problem. Enter the multiverse theory combined with eternal inflation and string theory. If we accept that there are multiple universes or bubbles, each with their own set of physical constants, then suddenly the fine-tuning problem becomes less perplexing. Imagine rolling a dice an infinite number of times. Eventually, you're bound to roll a six. It's just a matter of time and probability. Similarly, if there are an infinite number of universes, each with slightly different physical constants, it becomes inevitable that at least some of these universes will have the right conditions for life to evolve. It's not that the constants of nature are mysteriously fine-tuned, it's that we happen to exist in a universe where they are just right for life. This view of the multiverse provides an elegant solution to the fine-tuning problem, but it also brings with it a profound implication. We're not special. We're not the center of the universe or even the multiverse. We're just one life-supporting bubble in an infinite cosmic sea of bubbles. The reason is that intelligent observers exist only in those rare bubbles in which, by pure chance, the constants happen to be just right for life to evolve. We exist not because the constants of nature are miraculously fine-tuned, but simply because we won the cosmic lottery. This picture of the universe, or multiverse as it is called, brings us back to our initial question. Do parallel universes exist? We've journeyed together through the enigma of our existence, the birth of the universe, the theory of eternal inflation, and how the multiverse could explain the fine-tuning of the constants of nature. Let's recap. Our universe is vast, possibly infinite, with hundreds of billions if not trillions of galaxies spinning through space. Yet we're exploring the idea that it might not be all that's out there. This isn't just the stuff of science fiction anymore. The concept of parallel universes and a multiverse is a real topic of scientific discourse, often discussed in the context of the Big Bang, string theory, and quantum mechanics. Around 13.7 billion years ago, Everything we know of was a singularity. Then, it burst into existence, inflating faster than the speed of light and exploding outward to an unimaginable size. This is the Big Bang Theory. But researchers like theoretical physicist Alexander Vilenkin suggest that this inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. This theory known as eternal inflation proposes that as inflation ends in a particular place, a new bubble universe forms. These bubble universes, according to the theory, 
can't contact each other as they continue to expand indefinitely. The concept of a multiverse explains why the constants of nature appear to be fine-tuned for life to evolve. In this picture, intelligent observers exist only in those rare bubbles where, by pure chance, the constants are just right for life. However, it's important to remember that these are theories. The existence of parallel universes remains one of the most controversial topics in science. Research is ongoing, and there is much we still don't know. The existence of parallel universes is not yet a proven fact, but the theories and research we've discussed today show that it's a possibility worth considering.